Hey, good morning, everybody. Daniel the Rust Buster coming at you on a beautiful, sunny, cool, dry morning in Providence, Rhode Island. Welcome to my, my uh, all my new subscribers and my uh, and my regular uh, folks, all my friends, clients, family, and good morning, Ollie. Today, I want to go over the, a couple of questions I've gotten about how I how I go about my my, my role. What is what is this this Goldie, and how do I how do I how do I provide services all up and down the eastern seaboard? Well, the uh, as, as a, a lot of you all know, I'm based in uh, in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, in the winter, and then in the in the spring I work my way up uh, the eastern seaboard, and then my base is in Norwich, Connecticut, and take care of all of New England like that. And then when it gets cold, I head either back down to Florida. This year I'm going to be going to uh, Texas. I've got. Uh, San Antonio, Dallas, and uh, and Austin. So I'm going to have some fun out there. But this is how I do it. This is Goldie. She's a 1978 G20 van that I bought from the original owner. He bought it brand new in 1978. And he just loved this, this van with all his heart. And he had it in his family. I just got her two years ago. June, early June would have been, would have been two years. So he bought it in 78, had a 350 motor in it. Back then, those those 350s were junk. So 10 years later, it, it, they wore it out. They they went everywhere uh, with with this van. So it looks to me like uh, he salvaged an 88 uh, G20 and put the motor, transmission, gas tank, grill, and tail lights in it. So now it's throttle body injection. It's a 305. The transmission's all rebuilt, and uh, and and. and that's that's the power plant on that. When I got her, she was just pretty much plumb wore out, not beat up and punished. Just you know, the, after after 44 years, uh, 10,000 miles a year, which is not much. That's 400, almost 450,000 uh, miles on this old girl. So uh, I, I've, been, I've been continuously building her out and and upgrading and. Uh, overhauling systems as I go. I mean, everything from the radiator to water pump. I uh, rebuilt the injectors, uh, new fuel pump. I totally rebuilt the front end. Drive shaft is balanced. Uh, the rear end gears have been rebuilt. Brakes all the way around. Everything to keep me on the road going from town to town. My latest addition is this. I got a battery isolator. I'm sure you can't see it from there. But, but, in fact, what I'll do is I'll bring you along for a little tour. As you did, the, uh, there's, there was a lot of wiring in this, uh, you know, old stuff. There was a lot of accessories that he had in there. And I've been thinning it out and getting it down to uh, just the, the nitty gritty so I can do my stuff. Uh, you can see that that's a battery isolator because I've got batteries in the back. Let's go check those out. And here's a side shot of side shot of Goldie. There, there she is. You know, not too bad. I had a, a quick scuff and shoot paint job put on her, just enough so she was one color and stable. She's got new tires all the way around. And this is the uh, this is the business end of it. Uh, it's just kind of hard to see. I know it's a little bit dark, but I've got four. Let's try that. I've got four 6-volt batteries, uh, two on each side, and two 12-volt batteries. And what I did was I'm running them. This I got my lights all. This is what I was doing last weekend. I have all my uh, my, my lights uh, hooked up. There's the, the, uh, the battery charger. I've got enough room for, for another battery up top on each side. That would make eight. Uh, and actually, that would make four 12-volt batteries and four 6-volt and the, here is the the uh, the cable that that I ran. This is four aught uh, with all the crimp uh, connectors that I got from uh, from Amazon, and I'm running through a 3,500 watt inverter on the bottom. It it uh, peaks at 7,500 watts. <coughs> and uh, just yesterday, without the engine running, uh, I was running my my uh, my small welder doing some. Uh, Doing some uh, some welding on welding on the uh, on the Chevelle. 
I did try to run the uh, the compressor with it. It's just it's just too much. I had to start the engine for it to be able to because uh, you know obviously compressors draw a lot of a lot of energy. So uh, you know I was so if but if I put the two batteries up on top, I'll probably be able to run the uh, compressor without running the engine. That's the object of the game. And if you're wondering why I have all this all this power just to, to just to be there, well, this is where it's also obviously this is where all my tools go. You, you can see this is the shore power hookup, uh, so that when I'm where I am, you can see the batteries are uh, batteries are fully charged, and that's the shore power because I have AC in there. These are all my well, not all of them, but I had to take everything out. I got tools everywhere. And I got to start packing them up because when I did that, when I did that battery, yeah, what a mess, huh? When I did that, uh, did those batteries, everything had to come out. I couldn't have one thing in there to get in my way because I was wiring it live, and and one mistake would have would have ended in disaster. Well, here's the interior of Goldie. <clears throat> this is, <coughs> excuse me, I've been working on this for a while. Uh, I tore out all the, the the interior, and I know it looks hideous, and it's only the, the insulation. I'm down to but I had to I had to frame it out. I built that top, uh, as you can see, because I was really tired of hunching over and, and not being able to stand up. I've got my espresso maker. I just got a nice little toaster oven, uh, my grandmother's uh, cutting board, and I've, I've got a sink with uh, three gallons. You can barely see it under there. Three gallons of uh, water and a three-gallon can to ca for a catch can. The uh, this is a, a regular dormitory refrigerator. Uh, at 115 volts, and this is a, a 12 volt uh, slash 115 volt. I always run it on the 12 volt, so I keep all my drinks and juices and beer in there, and keep food in there. Uh, this is my bunk. Uh, this is I'm obviously where I sleep, and you can see up top there. You know, I know it's still I'm still working on it. Okay, guys, I know it looks horrible, but this is you know you gotta uh, you gotta go with what you got. So there, that's a brand new Toshiba. Uh, 8,500 or 8,000 BTU AC unit, uh, and that's what that's really what the batteries are for. So when I'm on the road and pull over at a truck stop, I want to be able to uh, run that AC when it when it's hot in Texas or wherever I am. This is also this uh, I got this uh, from uh, Walmart. This storage thing. Uh, and I got my silverware and my medications and and stuff like that. So this is all you know. This is all like test fit. So that when I go to do the, uh, I say, okay, I've got everything where I want it. Now I can, uh, you know, g get nuts and, you know, and have uh, some, uh, a mill shop, you know, guys that do cabinets, you know, and make nice, nice stuff that I want, nice custom stuff. The interior is going to be going uh, birch, uh, which is almost like a, uh, like a, a very, a blonde oak or maple. Uh, it'll be going birch with a uh, stainless steel trim. Uh, and and black black stainless and birch as you can see that's a, I, I like my blacks i like my earth tones and such like that this is the forward area uh on on goldie there's not much room up here there's going to be a lot of uh, overhead going on there's going to be a lot of uh custom dash stuff going on because there's like no storage room anywhere if you've got uh, w more than one drink in a telephone that's it you're maxed out you got no place to put anything else and this is where I keep the compressor. I'm going to end up building a little dog house for it uh, so it kind of disappears. I'm going to be going also, I'm, I'm still on the edge with, with hardwood floor, uh, probably. I'll probably end up with hardwood floor with a small area rug in the middle. And you can see in the back I got, you know, a privacy curtain when I'm running my AC, so I'm not working it too hard. There's another one here. I also have the big, <coughs> excuse me, I have the big front one that that goes on there across the glass and uh it, it's reflective oops come on with you there we go yeah the uh, the, the front one is it, it's re it's reflective it's you know it's silver so oh it's sitting right over there and uh, that, that's that's how I go around. Uh, the, the, as I said in my other videos, if there's a, a way that you want me to, uh, to, to to give you a price break on your work, it's to have me stay close by on a property so I don't have to pack up my tools every single night. 
and then roll out again in the morning <coughs> or go drive around looking for a place uh, to, to, to stay. If, uh, if, if I can stay on your property and plug in, that's where you're going to save some money. That's where I can really work with you. Until then, that's about it. I'm going to get back to work on this uh, 1970 Chevelle SS, and uh, I'll be posting on that one. Okay, folks, thank you, and have yourself a nice day. Love you all. Bye-bye.